Alright guys, yeah it's me. Uh, this is going to be my first update on the Bridge Too Far group build. Um, I've been working on the on the building of uh, the Dutch Village Diorama Base which is uh, for Mini Art. Uh, I'm sorry about the reflection off my light. But it just went out on the shiny box. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to give you a little tip so this is quick. It's only going to be a quick video, hopefully. So anyway, that's what I'm building, and this is where I've got to so far. Um, I've already cut these two bits out, and I've fixed them together. They've still got to have. Uh, they've still got to be filled and, and, and stuff like. But they're together. Um, I've cut some other bits out as well. Um, I mean, if people, if you haven't actually worked on a mini art uh, one before, they're not. Brilliantly detailed. Um, they can be quite um, intimidating to some people, to beginners, I suppose, because that's how they come. It's all um, vac formed. But to be perfectly honest, with you, it's quite easy. I'll just I'll give you a quick example. So basically, you get your vac formed piece. You take your, your knife. I use the back end of the knife. The straight end, not the sharp end. And basically, all you do is you just score it a few times. You know, sometimes I'm going to do it now. If you carefully use your sharp end as well, you can. Once you've scored it a few times, you can actually use your blade side. But you have to watch, because I've done it yourself sometimes. When you do use the blade, you've got to watch, because sometimes it can suddenly run off track and you end up with a... And there it is. It's as simple. That's how easy it is to come off. I'll, in fact, I'll probably cut this whole piece off while I'm doing this video, just just to just to show you. So, score it a few times to create a groove. Use your blade. It's as easy as that. It's these angle pieces that you have to see. I've just done it there. I missed so what I did as it as it moved it scored up so you have to be careful with that because it will keep taking the same the same route now so you kind of have to be a little bit careful now because otherwise it will try and take the same route every time the blade will just automatically just as, as it's trying to every single time. I'm not doing very well with this piece. It's the pressure of working on the camera, I think. I 
like I said, it has to be filed and, and, and filled anyway. You can't you can't not do it without a bit of a bit of filing and uh, and filling with these things. I mean, they do look nice once they're completed. They do, you know, they do have a lot of uh, a lot of potential, as they say. They just can be. Sometimes they can be. bit of a a little bit of a ball now. nearly there And then you're left with your your off cut piece. Give it a little a quick rub just to get rid of any any sharp edges. And that's how you cut them out. And there you have your cut out piece, that's how easy it is to cut out. The harder bit is when you come to glue the two sides together, I mean I've got these two parts here that go together. Uh, and basically you have to glue that part to that part. Excuse me guys, hang on a sec. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, yeah, bloody cold calls again. <sighs> I just love them. Always at the wrong time. Anyway, as I was saying, so you've got these two bits here. Let's put some light over here. So the idea is you have to put them together. Now this bit is obviously a, a corner piece as such because you've got the angle on either side. So you've got to glue that to that. Yeah. It's quite. I've got. I've got an idea. I have an idea how to do it. Because when I did my first one, I was trying to glue them together and it was getting in all kinds of states. But what I do now is, all this, where you put that up, you've got all this off-cut stuff. So what I do is, I make little strips and little, little tags and strips. And if you glue that, big fingers, glue that along the edge there and the same there and the top possibly a little one in there you find that when you put the two together it will hold it in place very much like this one and it gives it a, it also gives it a bit of strength I mean that one's just come unglued because I didn't do it properly but it does give it a bit of a bit of strength. Let me just put a bit more glue on that one. As you can see, it's very professional here. Right. Just slot that back in there. But then the thing is, you can't get in there. So yeah, so basically, a bit of glue, I mean I'm using extra thin, normally I use the, um, the 
the Revell uh, poly cement because I find that's quite thicker and it gives you a bit more, you know, uh, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but it gives you something. So, yeah, just quickly. fingers are in the way all the time. I know it's all big uh, arms and fingers in the way. And then we'll put one there and one at the bottom. Okay, so now we've got there, there, and that one's for some reason that one's not gluing in place. I'll tell you what, I'll use the liquid poly, which I've also put in a empty bottle, which gives you a good thing to use for you. This one seems to be this one. Obviously, this one's thicker, so it tends to. stuff in place I wouldn't say better but it's better for this kind of uh, project so anyway there you go you've got your tabs now on there and then the best the hardest part now is just making sure that you get it all it can be a little fiddly just to make everything um, fit in especially when you've got that bit and I've missed the bottom bit. Okay. And there makes it up. There's my mistake. It's a slope. It's a slope, so that one there maybe wasn't the best I did to put that one there. Uh, let me see if I can just turn that one off. Didn't think this through did I when I'm making this video. edges to fix it in place. I mean you do have to use um, filler on these because obviously it is vacuum formed and but I think, for what they are, the it's like everything, isn't it? There's pros and cons. I mean, it's an easy way to make. Did I put some on that one? No, I did. Yes, I did.
give that a bit of a hold in place there where it shouldn't take long. And there you go, it's all together. And I find that, I mean, yes, you've got gaps. I won't deny it. I'm not saying it's perfect. You've got gaps down there and stuff. But like I said, it's vacuum formed. It will need filling. So, and I'll just give a quick example. Like those edges there. I'm not saying these are the right edges, but they go together quite well. Make a nice corner. You know, but that is what it is. So I'll just leave that one to dry, um, and this short video will probably turn into a 15-20 minute video again. But just to give you a quick idea on what on what the, um, the assembling of the mini art uh, buildings is like, it's not too bad. It can be a ball ache, but it, I think it's worth it in the end. Um, especially if you haven't got the the facilities. For casting or you know whatever or you don't want to go through the ball like of buying individual bricks and building it and all that kind of stuff so it is another way of doing buildings so i hope that helped you know if you like i said before if you just come onto my channel and you like it please subscribe stick on the like buttons and all that kind of stuff usual kind of uh, things leave a comment below uh yeah so cheers guys hope that helped Catch you later, boy. Ta-da.